So far we have seen different kinds of input widgets. We have also seen different types of render functions, reactive function and created a reactive app. So talking about reactivity, if a user changes input, we can see reactive instantaneous um, change in the output or basically in other terms we can see its effect in output immediately however there may be cases when the user may want to have some kind of control over this uh, reactive nature um, and that is what we are going to see in this video tutorial we will see how to use a submit button in shiny to have some kind of control over the effect of change in input on the output. We will see how we can control the reactiveness using submit button. So let's get started. So this is what we are going to uh, make. Uh, previously we saw that if I update the name here the output was reactively changing. Now we see that we, we don't have the, the first name and the last name updated in the main panel and that is because we are controlling the uh, reactiveness of the app that is whenever the input is changed its effect on output using the submit button. So this is the submit button um, having the label as update. If I click on this button then only we will see the output um, changing based on the change in input. So here we see that after clicking these, the submit button or in this case this button here the output um, changed according to the input. So now if I say Sam Wilson you see that the output is not changing even though we have reactive statements um, but we if we click on update it changes the output according to the change in input and now we have Sam Wilson as the first and the last name so um, let's see how how to use this uh, submit button feature in, in shiny let's go back to our studio okay in our studio we have the ui.r file here the first thing which is the most important thing we need to make sure is you have the shiny package installed and also loaded um, in R so the first statement basically uh, makes sure that um, shiny function uh, sorry sh shiny package is loaded the second uh, function we have is shiny UI which is basically telling or that this is the user interface or UI piece of Shiny. We are using Fluid page and within Fluid page we have um, two components, the title panel and uh, the, um, the uh, sidebar layout. And within sidebar layout we have again two components, sidebar panel and the main panel. So in the title panel, we just have this uh, title as demonstration of submit button in shiny in the sidebar layout which is on the left hand side of our app uh, we see that we have we had two text boxes and for that we have used a text input and in the first text box uh, we had the label as enter your first name and its input id was uh, is text one we just followed the syntax um, text input input id label value by default uh, it's it's uh, um, just um, space and in the second one similarly we have uh, enter your last name as the label and the input id is text two text one and text two input ids will be used in the server.r which we'll see in in just a couple of minutes we then have submit button and we have just followed the syntax and let us see what is the syntax so we have submit button uh, function in the function we just give uh, the text or the label which we want to appear on it 
and just by inclusion of this submit button tells shiny or or uh, tells the r uh, um, tells r that um, we have submit button and it is to control the reactiveness of the app so any change in input will be actually uh, reflected only when this button is clicked finally we just have a um, um, a statement here which we are printing explaining click on the update button blah 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 in the main panel we are actually getting um, uh, the uh, output from server.r which we'll see uh, and we are using text output to print the first and the last name using um, txt1 as the output id and txt2 as the uh, other output id and these two output ids are actually coming from server.r so let's go to server.r in server.r we have uh, the first st statement here uh, we are uh, loading the shiny package we are telling r that we are in um, shiny server uh, uh, server piece of, of um, the um, shiny uh, code we have this function and we have two render statements here and we are using render text it it is basically um, used to um, um, give the output basically saying my first name is and whatever is the first name entered by the user and this is coming from ui.r um, text one input id so we are using text one to uh, in the paste function my first name is whatever user has entered and this gets stored in the output variable txt1 which is again used in the main panel of ui.r uh, with the text output function similarly uh, we have another render text function where we are using paste function to display the or to output the last name my last name is input dollar text two uh, with input dollar we are accessing uh, or processing or using the um, the last name entered by the user and that is stored in text two text two is again coming from ui.r and the output of this paste is um, paste function is stored in txt2 which is an output variable or output id and we are using in the main panel text output to display it so so how how is this submit button working right i mean we have seen ui.r server.r which was pretty simple but how is r knowing that there is a dependency it's all because of this line or this function here just this function submit button when when r is processing the ui.r or server.r and comes across submit button it knows that okay we have a submit button and the reactivity is dependent on this submit button and until and unless this is um, this button is clicked and there shouldn't be um, reactivity okay so let's go ahead and run the app once again just to see what is happening so here we see um, the app and let me say charge legio and click on this and we will see the output so it's all because of this submit button